Hey everyone, welcome to Legal Alien Racing. Today I'm going to show you the tools that I have that I take to the track whether I'm practicing or I'm racing. That way, if you're going to get into the sport, you know what you may need or what you're going to need if you don't already have it. Alright, so first of all, this is a toolbox that I take to the track. It's got wheels on it so it moves really easily. The brand is Husky and I bought this at, I believe it was Home Depot, and I think that uh, you can also find something like this at Lowe's as well. The reason I like this is that it comes in three sections. They lock here on both sides. So, the top section comes off, the middle section comes off, and exposes the bottom section here. So I'm going to go through each section and show you what I have in each one. Alright, so I've got some zip ties in here and there's different uh, thicknesses of the zip ties. You're going to need some of the fatter ones and then you're going to need some of the smaller ones. So zip ties are really important um, when you're out here carting. I've got some sprockets for my 100cc cart that I keep in here. I've got some LO206 sprockets, just spare ones that I have. I've got Allen wrench, the T handle bars. You're definitely going to want these. I really like these. I bought these on Amazon, and these will give you a lot more torque when you're trying to like. Uh, do different things on the cart, uh, like you know, loosening up the the uh, engine mounts, taking the wheel, the uh, the hubs off the wheels in the back, things like that. And the uh, sizes I use, it's an eight millimeter, a six, and a five. So these are really important. I really like these a lot. Um, I've got uh, like an extender for the socket, and the reason I have these is on these. On some of the cartwheels are a lot wider, so um, if you have a real uh, small one, you can't get it in here and, and work the socket. Uh, so I have I bought the bigger one as an extra, so um, it makes taking the wheels off a lot easier. I've got a tire pressure gauge. This is not a very good one. I'm gonna have to step it up and get a nicer one. This right here is a. For LO206 uh, on the carburetor, the, bolt, the float height is a template. You can use it to measure this. Uh, if you don't have a 206, you probably don't need this. Um, I've got some extra, just like a fuel line. Uh, let's see what I've got here. Here's the, another T handle. This is a four millimeter one. Ah, got another one. Uh, this has the more of the ball end. That way, when you can you can get at it at an angle. Um, the only thing is the torque is a lot harder on this one versus this one right here. You can see the difference. It just This one you can get more torque on. Uh, so I like this one better over this one. So I also bought an extra 10 millimeter um, wrench and this one has the ratchet on there, which makes things easier. So um, if you're able to buy one with the ratchet feature, it makes life a lot easier. I've got this little laser right here to help me uh, make sure that the rear sprocket, like on my 206, is lined up with the front sprocket on the clutch. So what you do, let's say that this is on the back um, axle, you put it on there, slip it on there, and it'll turn on, you can see on my finger, turns on a laser which will point to the front sprocket on the clutch and you can make sure... Um, that you're lined up because if you're not, you know that that laser is going to move. Um, you don't have to have this, but um, it's just kind of a nice little um, little tool that I decided to buy, and and it has come in handy. I've got a couple of clutches for the 206. I need to remove those. I'm not 206 racing. I have to be careful here. I have a razor in here. I got to be careful with that. I have a chain breaker for a 35 chain. Um, it's kind of important. And I have a toothbrush 
in case I need to uh, scrub at something and try to get it cleaned up. That's what I carry in the top on the top um, portion of the toolbox. All right, so we're going to go to the second level and see what we have in here. If you look in here, I have some shop towels, which is really important to have. Uh, basic socket set, which I'll open that up in a second. I've got some other Allen wrenches. Um, given that I bought the other ones, I don't really need these anymore, but I bought these, I think, at Harbor Freight. They're pretty inexpensive, and they did come in handy, and I like these, um, so they're okay. I've got um, a little knife in here, in case I need to cut something, fuel line or something maybe, or I just have it in here. Uh, real important, uh, gloves. The disposable gloves. Um, I'm out right now, so I need to buy um, some more. So it's really important to have these uh, with you. Got a pad here to like on my on a 100cc card or, or like the shifter. The exhaust pipe, if it gets rusted, you can put some WD-40 on it and rub it with something like this and clean the pipe up, make it look nice again. Here's a socket set that I have. It's a very basic set. Opening this up, um, this is the basic socket set. You can see here, there is nothing fancy about any of this. Got Allen wrenches. You're gonna use a 10 millimeter the most with anything probably. Here's what I was saying about the, um, trying to take the back wheels off, let's say. So you see how I can't get there? I just can't get there, that's why I bought the extender. So now I can take the wheels off with this easily. So really important sometimes to have the extender if it doesn't come uh, in the normal toolbox. So this little piece here, I just this is an extra piece I put over the sockets. That way they stay nice and tight and don't really move around. Um, because this thing isn't necessarily like a real flush fit. And that's pretty much I ha all I have in that second level. I mean, it's pretty uh, pretty basic. So let's take a look at the very bottom. What I've got here, we open it up and take a look in there. Uh, the first thing I have is an impact. Makes taking wheels on and off a lot easier. I just like to um, manually check them with a the socket to make sure they're tight versus just trusting this. I like to feel if it's tight. The other thing I have is a measuring cup for the oil, so we can measure our oil. I do have some oil here, just a little bit left over. And I have some 206 oil here. A couple of funnels. I have some Simple Green for cleaning the cart. And also I like to, to spray these on the beads on the wheels to see if there's air leaking out. I have a mallet here. And I really like this here, this little carrier. Um, this makes carrying, you know, cans, things like that a lot easier. And going through this, the things that I carry, you're gonna probably need definitely WD-40. Brake cleaner, really important. Uh, here's some carburetor cleaner that I just have with me. This is uh, chain wax for the for the chain, and I also have a secondary one here, uh, some chain lube here. Uh, here's some more brake cleaner. You tend to go through that sometimes. This is called Molecule. This is a cart cleaner. This works really well. So you can either cart clean the cart with WD-40, like the plastic, um, Simple Green, or this. This works really well. It's a little bit pricey, but it works really well. And then I've got a little bit of uh, uh, brake fluid, dot four, in here. Now, in the pockets, let's just go through and see what I have. I have a Sharpie, in case you need to write your name on anything that's yours, uh, like fuel cans, things like that. I've uh, got needle nose pliers. I have small... Um, Screwdrivers, a Phillips head and a flathead. This one I usually use it to take off the micron battery. Makes it real easy. I have some wire cutters. 
um, really important to invest and get the good ones. I bought these kind of on the cheap. They don't work very well, so I end up buying nicer ones. Um, so I was, like I said in other videos, if you're gonna buy some of this stuff, spend the extra dollars and get the better one. That way you don't have to buy it twice because I, I actually spent more money buying two if I'd have just bought this one from the start, it would have saved me a little bit uh, more money. I've got a flathead screwdriver and I have a bigger one in here, um, flathead. I have more needle nose pliers. I have a flashlight in here and that is pretty much it and I'll have it all in this carrier I bought this I think at Home Depot so this works really nice and it fits really nice uh, in here you can see all these things that I have on the table here they fit uh, really nice the bottom of this This can go back in and that's pretty much it and then you stack everything back up lock everything and you're ready to go so this is super super um, and it's again it's Husky's a brand super convenient to have this rolling toolbox with you when you go to the track so I definitely recommend it and those are some of the tools that you're going to probably need when you're out at the track. So um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.